Hey guys, welcome back to another RuneScape video, and for this video, I'm going to be showing you a level 1 to 99 divination guide, and I'm going to start off by talking about the bonus items you can use and alternative methods, and then I'm going to go into the more conventional methods. So, let's get started. The first alternative method that you can use is the Guthixian Caches, is a great way of training divination, but because it cannot be done continuously, I will not be talking about it that much in this guide, um, but if you want to watch a guide, there will be a link in the description to a full Guthixian Caches guide. The next bonus item we have is the Diviner's Outfit, which can be obtained from the Treasure Hunter. And every piece that you have will give you a 1% boost to your experience in Divination. And if you have the whole outfit, you'll get an extra experience, which will be a total of 6% that you can get on top of your Divination experience. Next up, we also have two summoning familiars that can really help you with Divination. We have the Nightmare Mosepad, which requires 81 summoning. And it's basically a Pakyak buff for divination. It will hold 32 memories for you, which can really speed up your process of divination. And it also gives you a 3% chance of enriched memories. And the second one we have is a light creature, which requires 88 summoning. And it has a chance of 10% to instantly convert memories to experience. Or if you are using the scroll, that will go up to 50%. And if you have loyalty points, you can buy the Enrichment Aura, which will give you a 3, 5, 7, 10 or 15% chance of finding enriched memories. It will last for 1 hour, then have a 3 hour cooldown. This can really speed up your divination experience per hour, so it's definitely one to be buying. This next bonus item, I would kind of say it would be a requirement to be using. It's called Boons. What it basically is, every single time you level up and then you have a chance to move on into the next location, you will be able to make the boon for the next location. This will give you a 10% experience boost and it costs very little money. You can make it from the energies you have obtained from the previous one, but it's strongly recommended because it will give you that 10% boost that you can use for your divination experience. And every single experience per hour I do mention in this guide does include boons. There's no reason not to be using it to be honest and everyone should be able to use it in this guide. The next three items I'm gonna be talking about is for the Chronicle Fragments. The first bonus item is the Six Age Circuit Ring. If you have completed the World Wakes, the Ritual of the Majorat, the Fire Maker's Curse, Branches of Dark Mirror, the Void Stairs Back, and the Chosen Commander, you can obtain this ring that will teleport you to the Guthix Shrine where you can use up your Chronicle Fragments. Also, if you have completed the Light Within Quest and have 87 prayer, you can use the prayer called Chronicle Absorption, which will basically use up your Chronicle Fragments and give you Hunter experience and Divination experience in return. So in case you have no idea what Chronicle Fragments are, they will appear randomly whilst doing Divination, they will appear from your Spring, you can collect a maximum of 10 at a time. They will stack in your inventory. And once you have a fair amount, or you have obtained 10, you can use your Sig Age Circuit Ring to teleport to the Guthixian Shrine. And whilst there, you basically just hand them into the altar, and that will give you divination experience in return, which is a really good way of getting those extra levels up here and there. So now let's get into the more conventional methods. If you aren't starting off at level one, by the way, you can always skip ahead using the links in the description that will skip to the part of the video that's more applicable for you. But from levels one to 10, we're gonna be traveling south of the Draenor Village Lowstone. Once you're there, we're gonna be siphoning Pale Wisps until level 10. You will get about 4,100 experience per hour, and we're gonna be using option number three when we hand in our energies to the crater. And we're gonna be doing this all the way to levels 99, and every single experience I do mention in this video is from using option three, only from the energies you would obtain, not from buying energies. From levels 10 to 20, we're gonna be traveling east of the Falador Lowstone, and we're gonna be siphoning from the Flickering Wisps. You will find that you get about 8,600 experience per hour here. Now to be able to work out how many hours or how many minutes you have to spend here until you're able to reach the next level or the next location, is to get the total amount of experience and divide that by 8,600. And one of the reasons I say that is because people start at different levels in different parts, in different locations. So it's not correct for me to mention times that you have to spend here. So that's for you to work out. So divide your total experience by the total experience per hour at each location, and that'll give you how long you have to spend here. From levels 20 to 30, we are gonna be traveling west of the dig sites or east of Varok. We are gonna be siphoning the bright wisp that can be found in this location here. We will be getting about 11,300 experience per hour. Now, please also remember that my experience rates do not include any bonus experience from like double experience or the diviner's outfit. This is the core experience that you should be able to find by using your energies with option number three, that is the enhanced experience. 
From levels 30 to 40, you are going to be traveling south of the Sears village. It's a very easy location to get to, and you're going to be siphoning the glowing wisps. You will get about 13,400 experience per hour here. From levels 40 to 50, we are going to be traveling south of the Fremenic Lodestone, and we're going to be doing the location of the Sparkling Wisps. You will get about 24,800 experience here, and you should get your levels up quite quickly. From levels 50 to 60, we are going to be traveling to Karamja, where we are going to be doing the Gleaming Wisps. It's once again a quite a reasonable place to get to, but you are going to be here quite a few hours, I know that for sure, if you are starting off at levels 50, because you will be getting about 34,900 experience per hour here. From levels 60 to 70, you are going to be training at the Mobilizing Armies. It's a very easy location once again to get to if you have the Spirit Tree unlocked or the Teleport in your normal spellbook. You will be training at the Vibrant location, which you will get 47,100 experience per hour here. From levels 70 to 75, we are going to be training near the Slayer Tower, and we are going to be doing the Lustrous location. You will find that it's about 56,300 experience per hour. And I would also like to mention that don't forget that on the hour, 20 minutes passed and 40 minutes passed, an Enriched Wisp will appear where you get constant Enriched Memories, usually lasting for about 20 to 30 seconds, sometimes even more depending on the world and how many people are siphoning from it. From levels 75 to 80, we are going to be training in the Elders' Halls, which requires the Fate of the Gods quest completed. Now, if you haven't completed that quest, you can always stay in the previous location, which will be the next fastest location. But if you have completed it, you're going to be traveling south of the Failed Appeals Lodestone, and you will be getting about 60,000 experience per hour here from siphoning from the Elders' Wisps. They are great locations. Once again, use option number three when you're using the crater. It's really handy. From levels 80 to 85, we are going to be traveling northeast of the Alcarid. It's once again a brilliant location because we are going to be siphoning from the brilliant wisps. You will find that there's 68,000 experience per hour here. From levels 85 to 90, we are going to be traveling to the Dragon Tooth Island that can be reached from Port Phasmatiz. We are going to be siphoning from the Radiant Wisps that will give us 75,700 experience per hour. It's a good location to be training at and it's the next fastest location, so definitely going to this location is strongly recommended. From levels 90 to 95, we are going to be traveling south of Sofrenum, which is in the desert. So make sure to bring the protection against the heat of the desert, which could be like water skins or the enchanted water tiara. We are going to be siphoning and using the crater in the luminous location, which will give us about 90,000 experience per hour. From levels 95 to 99, we are going to be traveling west of the castle walls. It's obviously the fastest location to be training at because you will be siphoning from the incandescent location and you will get about 104,000 experience per hour. So as you can see around you, people are using like summoning familiars, they're using all of the bonuses. So don't forget to be using yours also. So thanks for watching this guide. I hope you can get 99 Divination as fast as possible. It is obviously a long skill, so be patient with it. Thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you all very soon. Peace out.